What are my people? Man, don't go out. Don't go. Don't skip. I'm mad. No, I'm not mad, bro. I'm gonna bring fire right now. I'm gonna bring fire. I'm just letting you know. Don't go anywhere. Hey, you see this crap? Serious. You see this crap? Look at this. Look at that crap. Look at that crap. JD Martinez, 2013. You think that's a freaking elite swing? You think that's a freaking elite swing? Huh? Ah, but this is how you t coach your kids. Huh? Going you're, down to the ball. You're dumb. This is the feeling you want to teach? You're dumb. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss my butt. I don't know how to say bad, bad words in English. Because, mamá, ah, huevo. Todo lo, so, you know what? Learn Spanish. Pendejo. 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 All right. So, this is JD Martinez in 2013. He was about to get fired. He was, that was it last year in Houston. Wow. He had to be, do down. big adjustments. So, a lot of players, they think they're like, ah, I'm in the big league. So, I made it like that. I can do it. Uh no, but you know what? It's even worse. I hate when I see players that people that just play college and they say I swung like that, like AJD used to do. I swung like this do now. It like this. I swung in college. I was oh, the best. I, I, and I was, I was good straight like down that. to the ball. I was good like that. I was the, the best. JD Martinez, it was a player that he listened to the same bullshit that you probably listen and still doing it and still coaching it and messing up other kids that come to us later on because that's not the thing. The kids that come to us, they don't come like just fresh. They come to from people that teach like that, down to the ball, knob to the ball, like a freaking dinosaur. Stupid shit. Go to the Flintstones, man. Golly, ah, this is a feeling. If that were for a -Rod, if that were for Barry Bonds, that, that should be the feeling that you should. But what happened with JD Martinez? He tried to do what? Yeah, I feel like JD Martinez was like me, like a very coachable kid. Yep. That he say, okay, you have to go straight down, but I want to be good at that. He definitely was super coachable because he was definitely going straight down to it. You know, because you can hear Mike Trout saying he go down to it, but he doesn't do what he's saying. No, that's the problem. No. Some kids are very coachable. Some kids don't. And some kids, they just do it. But that's the problem. You cannot teach a feeling. You have to be honest and be video. Like, okay, if that's what you feel, but you look like this, that's not good. Right? But now, if you feel going down and then you do this, then it's good. But why we had to teach some different feeling when you can just be straight up, dude, I don't care what you feel. You just have to make sure that barrel get early in the song, like, just like that. Just like this. Huh? This is him after 2013. Obviously, this is 2022. But in 2000, after 2013, he starts changing his swing like this. And he started hitting bombs. And See? he saved his career. One of the things that he... He used to do like when you go down, look at what happened when you after you go down. With that energy of that barrel going down, obviously you see the rollover. And I see this in the A-Rod A -Rod teaching how he goes straight to the ball and he do exactly this shit. Going down. Ah a lot of big leagues I know, they go straight down and they are the best. Ah, you who are you? Who are you? Who are you? What did you play? play high school? You did you play college? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Oh, oh, I don't play college. Oh, 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 oh you hurt my feelings. Oh, I'm not a good one. I'm not good. Uh, you should not listen to I'm me. I'm a coach. I get you. I you don't mean, care. I can be playing the big leagues, but that don't make no difference. I'm a coach. I had to observe and change somebody's life. I'm not kiss butt. I'm not kiss ass. That's however you call it. When you are kiss ass, it's when you start saying, I used to play with Aaron. I used to play with this guy. I used to do this. Uh, who give up? The kid is there to try to get better. The parents is paying you not because the story you have. It's because the future you're going to bring for the fucking kid. I'm sorry. I said that word. It's okay. I should not say that. It's okay. You, can, you, can, you think so? Huh? It's okay. It's okay. okay. They, they hear them. They, they, they listen to worse words. So the future of your kid is probably 
watching more videos and understanding what the barrel should do. Because the strikes, it's the same for everybody. The ball had to come in the angle, and it's the same for everybody. So you get an object, it's your bat, and you have to come with an angle to hit the ball that come with the same angle that everybody has, right? So it's not like a, oh, my barrel good, do this, and my barrel do that, and then the ball come this way. No, it's the same deal for everybody. Now, how you feel, that's when it come with a big difference with some people. But you cannot teach just feeling. You have to teach reality. And then the kid can come with, the, with his own feeling. He can be like, no, I just feel this when I do that. Okay, who well, that's that's okay. I don't care. I'm a coach. I'm about to serve, and I'm going to tell you what you're doing. Because I cannot feel the same shit as you feel, so I'm going to make sure that you do this. And if, if it's uncomfortable and if you don't like it, sorry, but you don't look like the elite, so I don't going to... If you don't want to look like an elite, you don't even work with me. I don't want to work with you. I don't want someone else. I don't, we don't want I, you. I'm tired of being average. I'm trying to save people's career. I'm trying to help. I don't try to just be okay and pat everybody in the back and say, let's go. You good. Uh -huh. Woohoo. And then two years later, I don't play. Nah. I prefer a kid quit on me and saying because he don't he didn't get what what trying to do. Then lie to him and say, like, you good, you good, you good, and then end up bad anyway. You're still destroying his career. Or you work hard for this mechanic and get it right, or just don't go with me. Just go, somebody will pat you back. Somebody well, will. If you don't want to be a lead, you don't, you don't need yeah. to be close to the caster, bro. No, nope. no, I'm tired of that shit. I try it, I did it, I've been coached like that before. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay, so this is what he's saying. Oh, look at who he's talking to. He's doing the an one. interview with a so one that The one that teach that shit? Yeah, the one. What the heck? Again, what was a pivotal moment that actually shifted this kind of juggernaut career that, you've, that you're in right now? Well, in 2013, you know, I kind of said this uh, story a bunch where I kind of uncovered something, you know, uncovered something in the swing and uncovered something that I really was like, wow, I'm, I don't look like any of these guys. And... I'm not having the success, and these guys are the best in the game. I was like, you know what? Let me start trying to look like them. What was that? And it was mostly mostly just the path and the way that they're in plane, the way they start in plane, the way they go through the ball, the way they come out of plane. You know, and it kind of just domino effect where it was like, well, if I want to do this, then I got to fix this. If I want to do that, then I got to fix this. And then before I knew it, I had a complete overhaul in my swing. But I just remember that one. Wait, wait, wait. Are you listening? He's a big leaguer, and he had to fix his whole swing. He don't want to get fired. You know, people, you, just because you make it to the big league, that don't mean you you said, you said like you right now. Big leaguers make adjustment. Even harder, they, they, it can be hard, but they have to. So you as a kid, do you think you're good because you're hitting good in high school? And you got this professional hitting coach telling you straight to the ball and don't believe in the ones that teach this or they call us lunch angle coaches or I don't know. We don't know what is the name that they call us. I just know with it. I just know what, what the video is supposed to look. We just know the truth. Yes. Time for me was when I was in Venezuela and my first game in Venezuela, I hit two home runs. And one was on a curveball that was down and away, and I ended up hitting it to, like, left field. And the other one was on a fastball that was in or away. I don't even know where it was, and I hit it on the right field. And I was like, what the heck just happened? I've never been able to hit a ball that way and that way in the air, and it'd be a home run. And what happened? And I was like, <laughs> what is going on? Like, I was looking around almost like I was yeah. cheating. Yeah. And that was kind of when the lights came on, and my BPs at the time down there, I was, like, in awe. I remember taking uh, Javier Bracamonte, the bullpen catcher for, yeah. for Houston with me down there, and he was still in BP, and he's like, J.D., I'd never seen you hit the ball like this. And I was like, dude, this is real. So, I it. It. you know, I went into spring training, and, you know, they had their plans, and, you know, I wasn't a part of it at the time. You know, there was a bunch of trades, stuff like that, and I kind of never got, like, the chance. The best. In layman's terms, you have millions of kids. So, it was a game changer for him. A career change right here. He started hitting for power, 
for the whole film. Bam, 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 bam. He just, you know, it makes so much sense when he said he felt like he was cheating. Yes, because he discovered something that nobody wanna just wanted in, to teach. But just imagine how good you had to be to be to hit the ball straight down. And he was to explain. Like he was so good at hitting that he was he make it to the pros going like that. straight yeah, down. That's, yeah. And the problem with it going straight down, you saw it, you roll over, your bat don't stay long in the zone, and you look like crap. Yeah, probably like your players. Show me JD Martinez in mm. famous terms 2013 and show me 2018 what they're gonna see tonight. 2013? Wow, 2013 is ugly. I don't even want to look. Boy, I don't even want to think about it. it but <laughs> <laughs> the contrast is good. <laughs> but I remember I was kind of like, you know, I really studied Pujols at the time. Uh -huh. And I remember I kind of wanted to lean my bat back like this uh -huh. and really put, keep my hands there and just, you know, kind of go from point A to point B. Okay. Malita Salomon! That's what I'm trying to tell everybody. We all hear that shit. Group A. To B. A to B. No to the ball. No nope, to, nope, nope, to the ball. No nope, to the ball. No to the ball. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the this is the way. This is the way. Oh Lord. Dude. Oh yeah. This is my thought. You know, I wanna go from the ball straight to the ball. Okay. And that was how I was taught. That's yeah. what they always taught me. That's what they always taught us when we were kids is go straight and to the ball. And they were wrong. Your coach right now is probably so he's under the he put in his head in a trash can right now. <laughs> Whoever coach him is like, oh Lord. <laughs> <laughs> because the thing is, some coaches out there, they got elite players. Like if you give me JD Martinez right now to train him, he may be like it'd be good for me, you know? But like some play some coaches they got like those elite players, and no matter what you teach them, they're still going to be better than a lot of kids because they move right, they're so, like, quick, you know? Sometimes hard to teach. Quickness, haze and eye coordination, that's hard to teach. That's something that is more like a, a natural ability or hard work from the kid from before they come to the cage, you know? Now, hitting the ball is another subject, you know? So this is him having the ability to just hit the ball no matter what. Now, when you go to this level, you have to have some kind of swing to be consistent. And he's talking about ah, what is the swing you need to have to play and make millions, make millions of people. This is the thing. I'm not the one I'm making millions out of this. It's you. If I mess you up, you can go to somebody else if that's what you think. But this is free information for you to may be one day Make millions of dollars, just like J.D. Martinez. Change his career, and now he's making money. He's making bank. Exactly. Change your family. Have a house to your mom. Dude, they're making so much money. It's like insane just for having a good swing. Okay? Kind of hit a low, <laughs> low line drive up the middle. And that was what I was taught. So that's what I He's been taught hitting land right to the middle. Yeah, How great. much? A to B, land right to, to the B, middle. A to B, land to the middle. And, Low land right and this is the other one. Ah, kids, little kids should not let, hit the ball in the air. Little kids. Okay, so when they're little, we're just teaching hit the ball in the freaking ground. And then when they get older, we're teaching hit the home runs. Please, come on. Wow. Teaching hit the home runs on the get go. Not tomorrow, today. Do you think the coach is going to leave you? Oh, you maybe hit tomorrow. No, they're going to be like, if you don't hit tomorrow, you go to the freaking bench. Teach the kid to, for today. It's every hour the kid come to us. It's like we we don't lose time. We don't waste time. It's an hour you have to take advantage and go go go. Now if the kid make it in one hour, sometimes yes. But I promise you, my goal is just try to get it done today. Okay. So forget about no. This is the way you teach in today, babies. No, and, that's not the way. And then when they get older, you start teaching them how to now. No, no, no. Nah, nah. And today? Well, when I got to the big leagues, I noticed that that wasn't working. You know, guys are throwing all these sinkers, every pitch is breaking down, this and that. You know, today is like, okay, I see where point A is, but I want to get on plane with point A here. So then when I'm on plane with point A here, you know, now I'm in, I'm on plane. So now I already matched the plane here. 
as the ball's coming here, I'm on plane with it. So uh -huh. all I'm really doing is plane matching. So the moment I get on plane with here, now if I now if if the ball is a fastball uh -huh. or a cutter or a slider. Yeah. A lot of people think this is dropping. This is the problem. This is the problem. Uh -huh. You see that? This is the hand, right? This is supposed to be the barrel. Let's just I just try to explain with a little apples with this dinosaur coaches or dinosaur athletes. They just think that my dad is the best coach in the world because he played pro. Oh my god. This is not dropping your barrel below the ball. This how your barrel should go when you start turning. I don't care who you are. I don't care if, if you're the best hitter in high school. If you barrel, don't get deep in the zone, early in the zone, down back there, wherever he got right here, you're going to have struggles if you're thinking that you're going to go to the big leagues and be the best, best hitter. When pitchers throwing harder every day, so you have more, you have to have more consistent with that barrel early in the zone. So at least you get a chance to follow it off at least the ball. Because even with this, you're still not going to be the best player. You still have to have the hands and eye coordination. You still have your quickness. You still have to have your talent. But this is going to allow you to have more consistent. Because better depth. I can hit it in any, of these, in any of this area right here. Uh -huh. Where before, I was up here and I was trying to go here. So my point of entry for the bat was right here. And mm -hmm. I would come out of the zone right here. Mm -hmm. So therefore, my margin for error was right here. Well, when I watched you know, guys like you... And you know, Miggy and all these guys when they were in Tell it in the face! <laughs> Tell it in the face! Why well, this is this is I would be him like the guy like you messed me up, I listen to your shit. <laughs> That's what I would say. Why I listen to your crap? You were not doing what you're saying. You're not doing what you're saying, you know. Oh you mess God. me up, you mess my friend, you mess my other friend, because we're all kissing <laughs> your butt trying to learn what you teach. <laughs> Why don't you shut up and just stay quiet? And don't talk about hitting, man. Because you no. still, you don't know. Because in the past, that was the problem. The only one they can teach how to hit, it was the only ones they play. The only one they play that level. And if you think about it, the best coaches out there, they're not the best players. Because they observe. They know what is the difference. I know, I feel like, a, okay, what I, I'm realistic with myself. I don't gonna call myself, I was a good player. And I get drafted. I, I, I played in high school. I was hitting bombs. But that don't make me the best player. And I don't care. That's the information that no people need to care about it. You need to care about what the kid's doing and what this player doing. So then you can put it in the same page and get it done. It's not about me. It's not about our situation. Our work is try to get the kid, uh, the athlete in the, in the right place to be successful. Because if you coach with ego, then you don't get nothing done. They didn't have to be perfect. And they would still be right. They would take a fastball and hit it here and shoot it to right field. Or it would be a breaking ball, and they're like, oh, crap, that's a breaking ball. All of a sudden, they stay through it, and then they catch it out here, and it's a home run or left. Hmm. You know, and it's just like, okay, I want to give myself the largest opportunity of failure and still be right, in a sense. I remember. Boom! Drop the mic. That's it, my people. Listen. We wanna have more consistent. And that's an easy fix. That's just an easy fix to change his career. Now he's been playing more than five years after 2013. He, he saved been... his career. After when he made his adjustment, everybody started knowing what, who was him. This, it just, it just, you know what made me mad? Because it's 2023, 22? 23. So, I, how is people still teaching like this? That's the thing. Like, I respect you. I don't going to go to your comments and tell you suck as a coach. No, 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 no. no I say it right here. I say in my platform, in our platform, and say you suck as a coach. Now, if you listen to this, sorry, but yes, you suck as a coach because you're trying to go with Ah, Mike Trout do it, uh, Barry Bones do it, but dude, why we keep teaching that feeling when it's not happening? You have to explain them 
maybe, okay, I teach like this, but this is what's supposed to happen. And maybe that can work, but like, it's like me trying to teach Chinese and then I write in English. It's just like, I don't know. It just, it's just teach what it is, teach what it is, you know? And then we can probably evolve the game more, you know? But the thing is, those people that teach down, they get so hurt and they thinking that we are messing up the game or they, because I mean, we got co we got players that they wanna they wanna hit more home runs, and and that's what they are asking. The coaches ask for more home runs. They the the owners of the team they want players with more home runs. So what is the player should do? Look for help and try to get more home runs. Now we don't try to teach just home runs. We try to teach get the barrel early in the zone to have consistent and eventually that become uh, more home runs than doubles. Right? Yep. So, people, that's all I got. I put a little long this video because this was information and valuable. And yeah, very valuable. Valuable? Valuable. Val 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 <laughs> my English Freaking English, good. man. My English not good, but I know hitting. I promise you. Uh, people. I challenge whoever. Hopefully, if you used to think the other way, you know, going down to it, hopefully this changed your mind. Yeah. If not, keep being... Stupid. You know how good, how many good messages we got right here? Like kids hitting doubles, and you know, you don't think it's it's not important how how do you teach your kids until you get to this level. Mm -hmm. When you have a weekend that your kid is barrel balls in the outfield and driving runs and be and your kid do something important for your team as a hitter, because this is the thing. Hitting is the most harder, and it's one, one of the most important things in, in baseball, right? So, or softball. But the feeling of having success and consistency, your kid and you as a parent, it's going to be like, it's, 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 it's a good feeling. So make sure you teach the right thing, because you will save a, you will save more money if you teach the right thing. You if You go to the... Right, coaches? You come to the Castro Bros. <laughs> you subscribe to our channel. If you follow away from us and you're subscribing to us and follow us in all our platforms, follow you us. see you see the real great stuff. The elite. We put in content every day. Do. This is for free. Yes. You put in content every day. Subscribe, please. Share to your coach. And maybe you love so much that you don't want to leave him because you love him so much. He's so nice and sweet. Well... Send it to him. He can hate us. And then he can tell you why he don't believe in this crap. Yeah. Which and then it's not going to make sense. He gonna he told you. Yeah. He's going to make you go sleep again. Oh, oh, I believe him. <laughs> you know, that's what they do. These coaches, they're just good, sweet talkers. Yeah. And they know how to talk. We are, we are even barely no English. We barely know English. Not sweet talk to you. <laughs> we just come with the truth. The truth. The truth. The truth. Whatever the is happening. Videos help me. That's the thing. When I coach, I go with the videos. Look it. You don't understand. You don't understand when I say barrel. Maybe my barrel, my R is not sound good right there. But whatever. I, I freaking just, tell you the video. I, I Look, go, this is this yeah. is how I want you to look. This is yeah. And this is what I'm explaining. Yeah, why why him? Well, because he's out of judge. Well, because he's my trout. Because Ah, uh, but why hit them? Because they're the freaking best of the players that you want to be like them. They're elite. I will show you that what elite players do, and that's what we need to do, okay? Yeah, know what they feel, what they do. No. People, thank you for watching. Subscribe. See you on the next video. Bye. Bye.